So we're here at Fairmount Grand Del Mar here in San Diego, and we ran into this guy, Xander Shoffley. Xander, you want to come play a hole with us? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. So you had a little bit of a grimace there. You put a little extra cheese into that one? <laughs> Par five out here, yeah. Usually you try to. Is this an eagle hole? You think an eagle when you step up to a hole like this? Uh, Typically, yeah. It's a 565 uphill. Yeah, if you're feeling good, warmed up. I don't see why not. So you're playing golf, casual round. Music, no music. It varies. It varies who I'm playing with. You know, I, I like to have a good time, but I'm also competitive. You know, I, I don't play a whole lot of jolly golf um, if music's playing in my group totally fine but I typically don't put music on myself you good cook no but I love to eat <laughs> you dance no I can't dance not comfortable not comfortable doing it you know I, you know I think if I loosened up I'd probably or someone taught me how to do it I'd, I just never saw the, the the use of it you know I've been I got my girlfriend she's plenty happy with with what I can do <laughs> All right, won't go any further with yeah. that one. So what's your favorite game to play when you're out on the courts? NASA, Skins game? Yeah, any anything. Any game that Wolf is fun, five-man game, you know, Wolf. Um, fun, there's Vegas is a fun game. Um, Hammer is fun. NASA is fun. Any, anything, anything that that involves, you know, someone getting hurt. Not, a, not too bad, but <laughs> a little bit of damage, exactly. So you've been competitive in a bunch of majors. You, do you have a favorite yet? That's a tough one. I don't think I do. I think I enjoy all major championships. I, I think they're different and they're special and there's a reason that all of us on tour want to win them so bad. And there's a reason the guys who've won so many are, are special and more special than everyone else. So I don't know what it is about them, but they're just always on great courses and um, just a different environment. All right, so what do we got here now? Let's see. We have 261 uphill. What are you thinking here? 261. We have a hook lie. Ball's a little above your feet. Ball is. Yeah, we got a little hook slope here. Let's put this back. Let me see what we got. I'd probably say a five wood. Five wood. All right. Want something. The pin is red, so it's in front. Want something. Bunker left, so you're not trying to fly that bunker on the left side. Uh, yeah, I think I think the bunker is plausible if I hit it good. So you're gonna try to play the line? Yeah, I'm gonna try and play a hook here. There's a little bit of bank left of the left of the green here, so if I can manage to hit this solid, should be pretty good news here. That needs a little bit of love. It's gonna be short, I think. Just a little. That's fine. How do you catch that? Way off the toe. Right off the toe? <laughs> You've been feeling a little bit of pressure with me watching. Right? Absolutely. It's probably the most nervous I've been in a while, so good to get the nerves out. So your dad was your coach. Did he ever do the old Tiger Woods father thing, like set off detonations in your backswing? Uh, yeah, he was always. He was always making noise. He was always talking. He was always making noise, talking to his friends. Um, anytime I made noise while he was hitting, that was a problem. <laughs> he was trying to golf while you were having a conversation. Of course, yeah, exactly. So I, I, I grew up with distractions, and now that I'm older, you know, I learned they were intentional, and I'm glad he did it because I don't get bothered by too much on the course, I'd say. So you grew up in San Diego. We know you love it here. You make your home here, but do you have another favorite city? Man, San Diego is, is my, it really is my, my top favorite. Um, I mean, I, New York City is fun to visit. Um, let me think, what else? This is kind of the most recent one I, I had I had a good time in uh, for, for the Northern Trust, so I can't, off the top of my head, I mean, San Diego is by far number one for me. Best shot you've ever seen in golf, the best shot in history. It had to be Tiger Woods 08, Torrey Pines, number 18. 12 footer on the sketchiest greens I've ever seen. Uh, I was standing by the tree that's recently fallen due to storms, but I was in that sort of 
arena feel on the 18th hole there where he made that putt to get in the playoff with Rocket Media. That was probably the, you know, cool. Maybe him winning the Tour Championship last year was maybe uh, in terms of feelings where you get goosebumps. But me watching that, you know, as a 13 or 14 year old, that was that was an unreal golfing moment as well. How old were you when you became the best golfer in your family? 12 or 13, I'd say. My dad could still beat me at that time, but um, I beat him for the first time when I was 12 or 13, I think. He was pretty good. You know, I've seen him shoot 67. Now he'll shoot 80. <laughs> so he's a little bit easier to beat these days. What's the best club in your bag? Uh, statistically, probably the driver. It's been the putter at times, but either or, I'd say, have been pretty, pretty strong things. Aside from me, who rounds out your dream foursome? <laughs> that only leaves two. No, you can, you can pick three. <laughs> um, that's a good question. I've never, I've honestly never really thought of that. It doesn't have to be golfers either. Yeah, of course. Um, Kim Kardashian, if you want. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really, uh, I wouldn't really want to spend that much time with anyone, I think. It's five hours and I was trying to, you know, maybe a dinner with someone, but I don't, I don't think that'd be, that'd probably get boring at a certain point, you know? <laughs> All right, so what do you have here? Um, a little short? A little short, yes. Lovely, into the grain here. Um, uphill, this would be a uh, green light shot, I'd say. I was 56 degree tournament time. You'd expect to get this up and down 10 out of 10 times, I'd say. Making it how many times out of how many times? Um, Shoot, I don't know. I'd probably need 20 balls to chip two of them in, maybe. Maybe one of them. Pretty good. Good enough. Good enough. Meets your standards. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I'll take it. It's fine. <laughs> it's not gonna. It's not gonna go in, but should be a uh, should be an easy birdie here. Ever see anything just crazy on the course? I once saw a goose fall in a lake and an alligator ate it. Bad day for the goose. <laughs> that is incredible. Snag this. So we're gonna make you putt this. Oh, I'm here. Snag that. You want the flag in or out? Out. Absolutely. Always out. Always out? You're not buying that Dave Pell statistical stuff? Um, if it's if it's a if the putts, you know up this ridge or, or something of that nature, I, I'd say I'd, I'd have it, uh, have my caddy leave it in, save him the walk, but for the most part, I, I'd say I'd, I'd leave it or I'd take it out. Forward. Is that what you'd say is typical here? No, I'd say four would probably be the, if you had a tour event here, it'd be the average. Sander, thanks so much for playing Thank the Thank you very much, yeah. yeah, thanks.